Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel here in this duo with my guildmate Sokum. We're noticing, at least last night, that spawn sniping has returned. I got about 20 meters away from the spawn before I was completely triple depleted and then Sokum was completely knocked down. So this appears to be coming back into the game for some particular reason. But nonetheless, we get into this game and we continue to work our way through it to try to contend with the fact that this has now been reintroduced. Yeah, All I right. really don't... Look at see where we spawn. Yeah, I wanna I wanna look at your uh, missions too. Oh, I got the, uh, the one I only can, the one I can do is the scavenger one. Oh, you gotta get the uh, right. You gotta get the calling cards. Right, yeah. Oh, you just have Welcome to kill the scavenger. And one calling card. Oh, okay. Oh, you know I didn't bring a I didn't bring a um, high, so stronghold key. Let's oh, go over I here. didn't bring it either. Yeah. Let's go over here to the police station. Let's just keep it simple. Let's go to police station and loot. Wow, those cartel package? Oh no, it's an 8-pack. I was going to say, there's a cartel package here? So far, after looting the police station as well as the police academy in areas downtown, I've yet to find a GPU in any of the computers. Now, where I've been finding them is mostly in the ammo depots, so definitely check those. And as far as gold skulls, I've been finding them also just in the little stores with all the shelving. They appear to be spawning there, but as far as GPUs, I have had a really bad time finding them in any of the usual computer buildings or areas where we typically find them, not that they would not be there. I know occasionally people are still finding them in Sawa, so good luck trying to find your gold skulls and GPUs. No one's been here? Yes, they have. They have been here. They left the front door closed, though. So, Sokon, there may be players here at this building. Got one down. He's up here if you can charge him. If you can charge him, they're up here. Right here. There's two. One's down. He's probably reviving his teammate. Oh, yeah, he's reviving himself. Be careful. They're in that room right there. Two of them. See, they're down. See me down? Oh, to your dude, to your right. He left his buddy there? Oh, they're both dead? How'd they die? I got them. Okay. Completing contracts earns you cash to buy gear and upgrades. They didn't have anything either, because he went down like a sack of potatoes. Thank you, sir. There's a medical vest for you. You don't even have to. I don't even have to Amazing. go. Amazing. Did you get the tags? Because there's there's no two teams. See, you need the calling cards, not the tags. Yeah, she activated a tower. We're not near it though. The tower's behind us. Okay, he's on. He's they're in the city. There's no way he could be in the city by now. It's not not possible. Oh, this is weird. Where are all the bots? That's an evac Kelly Kelly, right? I didn't see it. GPU! You need to get to a buy station. Buy station all the way over in Rohan. I mean, we could drive to Rohan. The car right here. No. Of all the times we go into Sawa, I've yet to see a gold skull or a GPU in the one room we go into. I don't know, I guess it's like a server room area right across from the bank. But I am finding the GPUs, many of them, in the depots as well as just in these store shelf areas. So keep an eye out for that. As well as in the gas stations, I seem to find uh, gold skulls more often than not. So you definitely want to stop by the gas stations. They also have a lot of good loot to build your vest with in gas stations as well. So off we go to Rohan to the buy station. See it? Yeah, that one, that one, that one. Or we can just do it. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to get too close. I mean, they can freaking hear us already. And then we're going to go back to that buy mission. We'll go back to the uh, evac mission. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the vehicle as soon as I get this. Wait, I'm gonna. I need to buy some plates. Or you wanna buy them? Buy them fast and come to me. Now we're going back to the mission. Bots here. Get out, get out, I'll get it. We got plenty of time, so we can check the windows. No windows on ground. Huh? Right here. Plenty here. Okay, the hostage is right here. The hostage is right here. You ready? Let's breach. Let's breach. Breaching. He's in another room. Back here in the back. He's over here. He's over here. He's right here. Deactivating, and then we'll fight the bots. Deactivating. Alright, let's fight the bots. Let's fight the bots. Let's fight the bots first. Let's get the bots out of here. Okay, we're good. You want to carry him? Yeah, I'll carry him. Okay, grab him. Follow me. Follow me, follow me, follow me. We will, we will have bots out here. Buzz, I'm getting shot by bots. Follow me. Stay in cover, stay in cover. Follow me, stay in cover. Stay in cover. Stay in cover. I got you. I'm right behind you. All right, guys. So we got really lucky on this particular run and we're able to find a GPU just kind of out of happenstance. But this was our third game where we at least spawned in and weren't immediately shot by another team. But of course, we came across one who spawned not too far from us there at the ammo depot. So when I say depot, I mean the ammo depot, which is where I find a good many of the GPUs lately and occasionally a gold skull. But nonetheless, well, we were able to find one to get yet another uh, skeleton key, which I really enjoy. Really comes in useful, although I've been kind of hesitant to use them since we've been getting a lot of spawning snipers. But guys, I want to thank you so much for the support here on this DMZ coverage. Let me know down in the comments. Anything you want to know uh, in particular that we do here in the DMZ where we can find loot locations and things of that nature. I typically kind of keep it on the low low since a lot of the other channels kind of cover all that. I just kind of kind of cover just the generalized gameplay with my guildmates. But nonetheless, guys, thank you so much for the support. And, of course, appearing there on the screen would be the channel icon. You guys can click on that to subscribe as well as to select notifications. That way you know when there's content here on the channel. And I'll see all you guys in the next DMZ video.